Hey, yo, good afternoon. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy E, mother... EJ. All right, so I just got done cleaning out my garage. As you guys know, or well, if you don't know, it gets destroyed every single day. Only way this garage stay clean is if a dog never come back here. I'm talking about... Not only do they um, shit everywhere, they step in it and they smear it. They put it on my kennels. All my kennels, all my kennels need to be literally scrubbed and clean. It's because they step and piss, step and shit. They jump up on the kennel. It throws shit and piss everywhere. You know what I'm saying? My kennels need to be clean, literally clean. Like, when I move, I'm putting all these bitches flat somewhere. Get a broom, wash it up. Probably gonna spray paint, uh, repaint it. All that, so all that need to be done, man. You're gonna paint the red. Paint all my cameras red, bro. But yeah, so, yeah, man. Uh, I've already done that. All the dogs in the backyard right now running around. You know, playing. They was in the kennel earlier. I put them in the backyard this morning. And I was seeing it, I said, I'm just gonna deal with that later. Pass some errands around today. So I put them in the backyard this morning. And I'm just now I'm just now cleaning my garage like five, six hours after I put them in the backyard. Cause I just seen it and I was just like, let me let me deal with uh the stuff I need to deal with right now. And uh I'll come out later. That's done for the day. I'm going down, go in the garage. My garage will be straight. Those little brown marks, it's not dirt, it's not shit. They just the paint that was in the garage. And it's just, you know, it's not there no more. Cause I'm just spraying the shit out of it and bleaching it all the time. So I ain't lost the paint in the garage. But it smells good in here now. And it's clean. That's the press, right? Put it on the back. So, I started this video to let you guys know if you're looking for instant gratification, come out instant gratification. Um, go, uh, go get a job, y'all. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with having no job. I don't know what happened in the world. To make people think that they don't need no job or whatever the case may be and all that, bro. But whoever whoever started that little trend or whatever that case may be, I don't know if it was the pandemic or whatever, whatever it was, whatever that was, screwed up a lot of people. So, if you need instant gratification, um, don't even think about breeding a dog. Uh, I've been at the house since like 6 30 this morning. Y'all have so much to do, bro. I'm talking about so much to do. It's like I'm never able. Um, it's like I don't have enough time in the day. But I know I do. I just gotta continue doing what I can. Um, just, you know, knocking out the things I can knock out and shit like that. So today, I did promise y'all a dog park video. Um, it's so hot though, y'all. Like, it's so high, but we're going to see if we can get that knocked out today. Um, as far as like, uh, as far as uh, my dogs needing to go to a dog park to socialize, they don't need that because they have each other and they have me and I, you know, I spend a lot of time with them every day, but we're going to, um, you know, I just do the dog park video for video uh, for y'all really. They don't need it, honestly. They uh they get to run around. They get big open fields every single day. You know, I got a big field in front of my house. We do the same thing that will be done at a dog park. But um, I guess it's interesting for y'all to see dog park videos. So I guess I'll knock out one today. I'm not going to be there that long, though, because like I said, it's, uh, it's 100 degrees right now. And um, I love my dogs, and I don't want to kill them. So uh, it's best to not 
to not do these type of videos and uh not you know it's not too long so right now it's 100 degrees outside and it feels like feels like 110 okay so um yeah it's not something i'm um i would do a lot it's not something that i'm going to do in the middle of the day but the wind gust is at 22 miles per hour so i guess that helps out a little bit and then it's like a beach at the dog park where, you know, where, uh, whoever I take and just run through the water and all that. But we we'll probably do 15 minutes at the dog park, man. 10 minute video, five minute no video. Um, yeah, we just call it that. But yeah, if you look for instant gratification, this ain't something you should be doing. Um, so when you get a job, you clock in, you get paid probably either that week or the next week. You know, they do it every week or every two weeks now. And that's dope. Um, I don't get paid every week. I don't get paid every two weeks. I don't get paid every month. Sometimes I go two or three months without getting a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's how I go with the dog shit. Um, I go months without getting paid. It just, I manage my money so well. <coughs> I manage my money so well that I'm able to, to be okay throughout the months that I'm not getting paid. But if I was working a regular job, I'd probably make around the same amount because I'd be getting paid more consistently. I mean, until the business gets to where I want it to get to, right now we're not there yet. So we just continue ground mode. Like I said, this is my first year breeding. If you've been tuning in with me for the last few years, I've been dropping videos all the time for the last two or three years, y'all. Uh, I've been dropping videos and shit. So um, this year is my first year getting paid. All right. So that's two years not making, I mean, two years making zero dollars from dogs. And this year is my first year getting paid. And then it's been like, it's been a slow year. So it's like, if I didn't have other things that that were sponsoring um, what I got going on, then I wouldn't be able to do this. So, um, like I said, man, looking for instant gratification, go clock in. You'd be a lot happier. And you know when you get paid. I don't know when I'm going to get paid again. I have no idea. When it comes down to the dogs. I got other businesses and shit like that, but... As far as the dollars, I have no idea when I'm going to get paid again. I have no idea. I can't tell you. I can't tell my mama. I can't tell my girl. I can't tell the landlord. I have no idea when I'm getting paid again. But every month, them bills come out. Every single month. You know, you got light bill. You got water bill. You got gas bill. You got trash bill. You got food bill. You got internet bill. You got eating out bill. And you got rent. You know what I'm saying? I spent over $3,000 a month. Um, and I don't get paid for months at a time. So, like I said, if you're going to do the dog breeding shit, it's best to get you a job and just do this part-time as a hobby. Don't try to just jump into it full-time. I know a lot of people tell me, I want to do this, I want to do that, and then when I sell this, it's not how it works, bro. It doesn't it just doesn't work like that. I'm not sure who told y'all that or who sold y'all on that, but it doesn't work like that. Um, I don't, if some breeder told you you can make this, make that, he lied, you know what I'm saying? That's just not how it goes. Like, eventually you're gonna make, you know, you can make pretty good money if you're good at advertising, you're good at, uh, at, uh, you know, just shit advertising, really. That's really what it boils down to. And you got good blood. Like, I got the, I got the best blood, the very best blood in the game. And I'm having a hard time selling dollars because of what's going on in the world right now. It's just, it's just hard for people. And, um, I just kind of what it is right now, man. Um, there's nobody in the game that has better blood than me. Uh, I have everybody blood. Like I got the best. I got everybody shit for real. Um, XL wise, XL wise. I see a lot of dogs with big chests and all that type of shit. With listen, dogs with huge chests and, and super wide stance and shit. That's not really like. It's not really like XL. It's more standard. You know what I'm saying? It's more pocket like. So, um, XL is more like Kane Corso, like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. Anyway, I catch you guys in the next thing. I am going to the dog party, like, for y'all, it's going to be just the next thing. For me, it's going to be probably like 20 minutes right now. But, catch you guys at the dog party. Can't control the dog. Look at that shit. Yeah, that was hell. Y'all should have seen what just happened. Look at this boy. The scariest person dog in the world. Let's go, Zeus. Yeah. 
Jesus. Yeah, come here, stop. Lord, I miss Navy. Let's go, Zeus. Zeus, let's go. Fucking weak. Just a man, scariest dog ever. <laughs> you see him trying to take off? <laughs> oh my God, a big baby. Come on, man. Good tail tucked in your butt. Come on. Come on, dude. Jesus. Go away. Go away. Look at this dog. Look at this big old baby. Look at this. Oh my God. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? This is why. Zeus, let's go. Come on. Let's go, Zeus. Come on, boy. Zeus, come on. Get in here and get the poop. I knew he was gonna poop though, because like he kept farting, y'all. Let me go get a damn bag. He just kept farting. Like, I wonder why he was farting so much, huh? You know anything about dogs, man? They get to farting, then the next thing is duking. So, come on, Zeus. We're gonna try and leave the party. Come on, Zeus. Y'all for the camera action. Um, yeah, you'll be alright. Skip through it if you if you don't like it. Skip through it if you don't like the video. Turn it off. Turn it off. So if you don't like the video, just turn it off. I don't want to hear nothing in the comments. He's probably about the safest dog to take to the dog park. Y'all know I can't bring Niagara. I couldn't bring Niagara. And guys know. Navy was in the dog park too, and y'all saw a Navy was acting all stiff. Man, yeah, he's the perfect dog park dog. The perfect dog park dogs. Really nice little Zeus! Zeus! You doing that nervous dookie and stuff, dude? Ain't nothing even coming out. Come on, dude. Oh, me, bro, he's so nervous. He's starting to try to dookie everywhere. It's embarrassing. You know, you don't mess with the ocean water? Look at him. Look at him, y'all. Look 
Not about me not picking up poop, bro. Look at all this poop. And Zeus not even pooping. Zeus not even pooping. He's just doing that nervous squatting shit when nothing come out. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. It is annoying. I didn't have to deal with this one. right now y'all the sun is going down that is the only time i can take this guy out here to the dog park because he has a short snout this kid's got a longer snout so i don't want to have this issue but i don't want this boy to have a heat stroke out here he already super nervous around other dogs so you add that with the heat it's just not a good idea It's beautiful right here though. All the apartments and stuff along the water. Then you gotta go park over there. Shout out to the family that emailed me. So um, I got an email earlier today about an inquiry about a dog. Very detailed email, very specific questions. I just can appreciate that. It's like it's the man, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, just said the deaf family really took out the time to, to, you know what I'm saying, to write all that out. And I read every bit of that. And condolences to your public you lost and all that. Like I got. I felt for that because, you know, and I really appreciate you for your condolences for me, for losing my best friend. Like, yo, I ain't gonna, I'm out here lost, bro. Like, this shit don't even feel right, yo. I can almost get my eyes get watered thinking about it. This shit does not even feel right. Not not having the, not having my boy here, but like, anyway, that's what I was saying. Uh, I, I get sidetracked so much even thinking about my guy. Um... Um, what are you talking about? Dale family, appreciate you. Um, as for as for Blue, the one you was inquiring about, Blue right now is a thousand dollars without papers. She's two thousand with papers. Um, if somebody sends the first person that sends fifteen hundred, gets her with papers. If you do it, if I do a payment plan, the thousand right now, and then the other thousand, um, the other thousand later, then that's cool. But right now she's a thousand. 
with down papers, use 2,000 with papers, unless you pay 1,500, all at once you get the papers in the dog. As for shipping, you say you live in Oklahoma, um, I have shippers, they charge different amounts, the gas price is dropping right now, so the gas could be, could be, the shipping could be cheaper than it usually be. As far as meeting in Dallas, I'm okay with meeting in Dallas, I will charge you a couple hundred dollars to meet there, because it's gonna take me three and a half hours there, Three and, a half, three and a half hours back, that's a seven hour trip. So I will charge you for that. Uh, probably charge you about two or three hundred dollars to meet there. But you are welcome to come to Houston. And I also have a shipper that is in Dallas. I think he probably can ship you. He probably can get you a dollar for around 500 bucks. I think to Oklahoma. Uh, I think you said Oklahoma or something like that. It shouldn't cost that much. It shouldn't cost that much. It shouldn't be too much. Probably like three, four hundred bucks. Something like that, and if I meet in Dallas, I'm gonna charge you about 200, 200 some dollars. So it's up to you. Uh, my cash app is NBL Kennel. Uh, I'll email that to you. Um, as far as Blue, um, she don't have any. She don't have any um, skin allergies. Her, her and the bird don't have any skin allergies. Navy genetics is so so strong that. They don't have any of that. Um, most of the allergies that come from dilute dogs, and what I mean by dilute, it's like super light colored dogs, like lilacs, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Lilacs, blues, shit like that, but darker colors like fawns and chocolates and reds. They don't really have the skin allergies that, that the dilute colors have, so blue doesn't have any skin allergies. Um, that's for the Merle. My Merle is $4,500. I would do a payment plan on her, but it'd be, be $3,500 up front. And then a thousand dollars on um, on the back end uh, for the papers. So that's for the Merle. That's for the Merle. Um, I only have one Merle left. That's full Merle. The other one is Krypton Merle. That's it's, it's still Merle, but you just can't see it. But it's I don't know why we even call it cryptic because you can see it on hers. But we call it cryptic. But yeah, so that's her. What you do for German Shepherd? You don't care who's running for running from it. That's not even a grown dog, German Shepherd. It's just. That's Zeus. That's a, he just look at his tail tucked. Look at his tail tucked. Very uncomfortable. Look at that dog swimming. Go swim with the other dog. Beautiful shepherd though. Look like there's a pit bull mix over there that she has. It's a beautiful dog as well. This is a bully though. This is different. Bigger head, wide chest. Come on. Go swimming. See Zeus go swimming. Now he's got a dog on it. Worry about any skin allergies with with uh, Navy offspring. And people that is interested in the white legs, once they get to like maybe a year or something like this, close around their age, the skin allergies just go away. Um, as you guys look at Zeus, he don't have any spots, anything like that. And he had the same thing that um, I'm seeing some of his sons deal with, that I saw his daughter deal with. Also, uh, some of the things his um, Nyla dealt with. I would deal with a lot of skin allergies too. Um, and she, hers got better. She got older too. But when she got pregnant and had some babies, you know, they released a lot of uh, a lot of her, uh, you know, a lot of things she needs. So just fighting back and getting uh, getting her immune system back right. She ended up breaking out as well, but she's she's back healthy as well. So you don't have to deal with that. Uh, you will not deal with any skin allergies with blue. Uh, they just don't have those problems. Those colors don't have that problem. So yeah, blue is a thousand dollars. You get your dog whenever you get your money right. But you don't have to send 250 once or 250 twice. You can, but you don't have to. Just whenever, uh, whenever you get the other thousand, and then I send you, I mail you your papers. Um, yeah, but if you send 1500 total, you get the dog and papers. So it's almost like a 500 discount for sending the whole thing at once. Um, hey, Zeus, you my boy. Zeus, hey. So it's almost like a $500 discount for sending it all at once. 
uh, what else? For the Merle, the, um, so, as far as the Merle, I will do a deal with you. I am, I, I, I will do a deal. Um, but I kind of like to do my deals, like, the public deals for locally, like, local people. I really don't like doing that. Not, if I can't pull up on you within an hour, so I'm really not really interested in that. I'm actually dealing with something like that with Chloe. And it's not a problem, but it's just like, there's so many dogs that were lost during that during that breeding that if you were within an hour, I could have helped save those dogs. So it just doesn't really benefit me to do it. To do it like that. So maybe I'm not really interested in that. But she is 4,500. The Murrow the is 4,500. My cryptic Murrow is 3,500. So she's 2,500. And then um, you ready for the pay, but you get to pay the other thousand, you get that. So that's the prices on that. Sazu's being a scary cat. He's really beautiful. Really beautiful guy. Look at him watching. He has a tell his son, don't yell and all that. He makes the dogs excited and all that. Good, good job, sir. Good job on correcting your kids. As you, got, as you correct your dogs, you gotta correct your kid as well, you gotta teach them, so that was a good, good job, very good job. It's good to see you. For Zeus, he don't really entertain anything, he don't care about any other dog. He just wanted to be my neighbor, just sucking my legs. Jesus, go walk around and play. If the tunnel was here, um, I'm not sure if he'll play a lot, but the tunnel will be trying to play with other dogs, which will be kind of cool. He should go get in the water. I don't know. Maybe he'll go get in the water eventually. Navy was here, he'll go try to correct all that. And that's what, that's the bad thing about Navy. Like he want to be the general of all dogs. He wants to be the general of everything. This guy here is a big baby, man. It's just, it's crazy. Right 
there, that pit bull, that, the girl in the gray house. He is a pit bull mix or something, but he definitely got pit in him. He still has his nuts. So if Navy was here, that would be like a, you know. Catch you guys in this video. Um, yeah. Love y'all. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe for more videos. If you like videos like this, we'll do more videos like this. Don't mind this. Maybe uh, we have to make some dog food friends. Yeah, maybe we can make some dog food friends too. Hey, buddy. We'll see. Catch you guys in this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Love you.